For this style, I start with hair that's been worn in a braid out. In this particular video, my hair was in a braid out for about five days before I decided to put my hair in a bun. And as you can see, I'm just kind of pulling it apart and separating it out. Next, I begin to twist my hair toward the scalp. I did um, the hair on this side first, the side opposite my bang. You do not have to have a bang, but that's just my choice. And basically, I am tucking and rolling my hair in toward the scalp on one half of my head. And I'm working my way toward the center of my head. So I'm twisting on an angle. And I'm patting my hair as I go along just to kind of smooth it out. Then I secure my hair with pins. I use probably about two to three large jumbo size bobby pins on one side of my hair on one of those twists. And then I may add in smaller ones just to secure it. But I use, once again, I use the large jumbo size bobby pins on my hair. The little small ones really don't work well enough to hold my hair tight. And I just continue smoothing and pinning as I go along, working my way toward the center. Next, I separate out the hair that I would like for my bang and move it to the side. I do this just to get it out of the way. Next, I repeat uh, the tuck and roll flat twist on the opposite side of my head. As you can see, I'm pretty much doing the same exact thing. I twist and tuck it in toward the scalp and then I secure it with bobby pins as I go along. And I'm using the jumbo size bobby pins to secure this. And here you can see what it looks like from the back. I'm working my way toward the center. And I'm moving closer almost so it looks like the two sides are joined together. Here you see I'm just smoothing my hair some and securing my hair more with pins in the spots that I felt like needed more pins. Now I separate out a section of my hair and I pull the rest of it into a ponytail. I am using an ouchless ponytail holder. There is no metal on this ponytail holder that will snag my hair. Now I take the piece of hair that I separated out and I do a two strand twist. You could also do a braid or just wrap this hair around the ponytail holder. If your hair is shorter in length, you could just skip this step. I choose to do a two strand twist because I like the look of having the ponytail holder covered. I also do a twist instead of a braid just because it's faster to twist than to braid. So you see here I wrap it around the ponytail holder and then I secure it with bobby pins. Now here you might be able to use a smaller pin without a problem instead of the jumbo sized one. Now I take the hair that is in the ponytail holder and form a bun. I do a simple tuck under bun and secure it with the jumbo size bobby pins. I usually use about two to three of those on the bun. And then if you need to, you can add smaller ones. But because of the length of my hair, I don't find that I need more pins. If your hair is shorter and you want a more secure bun, you may need to use more pins. So there you can see kind of what it looks like from the back. I let my bangs down. Sometimes I pull them to the back and do funky things with them, but it's up to you what you want to do with your bang. And that's pretty much it. This is the finished look of the style. You can switch up the bang for different looks. 
and hopefully you give it a try. If you do, I would love to see what your finished results look like.